When Pierre said he was a child, he watched an X-Men cartoon where one of the characters used a neural helmet. Now a 25-year-old engineering student at the Polytechnic Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Kinshasa, Sadie is working to make this science fiction a reality. He has created a device that allows users to control a robot using brain signals. The system that we have developed and that we have named Cerebro the system that we have developed and that we have named Cerebro is what is called a brain-machine interface. It is a system that is able to read the electrical activity of the human brain and to be able to interpret it thanks to artificial intelligence. The system uses a helmet that reads the brain's electrical activity with 14 sensors and electrodes. The helmet is connected to a data collecting computer that transmits the information into commands for a robot. Currently, brain-machine interfaces are being developed in the laboratories of major universities around the world to enable people with disabilities, including quadriplegics, people who no longer have use of their hands or their feet, to be able to control the objects in their environment directly from their brain. In a country where scientific research does not receive significant government funding and there are few potential investors, the challenges for this young inventor are enormous. When developing a brain-machine interface, uh, the first challenge lies in the cost of acquiring the materials because the materials for this research are very expensive, whether it is software or hardware. One of Sadie's professors hopes this project will inspire others and jumpstart investment in this type of research. If there is a call to make to the authorities, it is that they must invest in research, in the training of high-level engineers, because all the economic and social growth of each country depends on the quality of these engineers, who must be in very large numbers. Although the neural device is in its early stages of development, Sadie believes the possible uses and applications are endless. For Andre and Dumbai in Kinshasa, Congo, Salim Solomon, VOA News.